Hi everybody, um, it's Monday morning, birds are singing, sun is shining and I'm normally in Melling, but I'm here and I'm just going to do a short mat and standing workout just to get everything moving really. Um, the standing work is going to do a bit of balancing, a bit of strengthening, a bit of moving and the mat work is really just getting us moving. All I've got as a prop is my stick which helps with balancing, but you could use a chair or you could use a wall. Either's fine. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> let's just start as ever, spreading out the toes and standing tall. So feel the ground beneath the feet, edge of the feet uh, in contact, and then the crown of the head lengthening. Just close your eyes for a, a minute. Just let the Eyes closed, let the breath come and go. So breathing in and letting go. Bigger breaths than normal, but just check out the body. Just feel whether there are any bits of tension that as you exhale, you can just get rid of. Could be the shoulders, could be the jaw, could be the fingers. And notice the rise and fall of the chest. And also do some Deep abdominal breath as well. Breathe into the belly. Always a good grounding breath to do. And then opening the eyes. Okay, so working through and um, just gently moving everything. Let's start with some shoulders. So let the shoulders lift up. Let them go. <sighs> Lifting in. And release. One more. Let's add the knees. So as your shoulders lift, the knees sink. Press away. And press. Exhale as you lower. Lifting up. And then let's do some shoulder rolls. So let the shoulders lift up. Round and down. And gently let the knees, let the whole body react. So as your shoulders soften now, the knees soften. Rolling them round and back. Take them the other way. So roll, open the collarbone. Lift the shoulders. Roll forward. Lift up. Exhale down. Ooh. Okay, one more. Round and down. Okay, let's move on to the, the hips. And we're just going to do some little hip circles. We're going to think about feet, uh, maybe slightly wider than hips, but nicely planted. And we're going to slide the hips one way. Then you're going to sit back as if you're sitting on a chair. Slide the other way. Open the hips as you roll forward and really open up those hips. Let's keep it going that same way. Sit to the side. Sit back. Slide. Roll and open. One more this way. So let's go to the side. Weight to the heels. Slide the other way. And as you come forward, let those hips open up. Ready to go the other way. So we're sliding other way. Sit back. Roll. Roll forward. And notice how the rest of the body is joining in. Lots of these movements are whole body movements. We want to get everything moving, especially first thing in the morning. Okay, one more slide. Sit back, roll, and back. Okay, let's just do, we're going to come on to um, a bit more mobilizing, but let's just let the shoulders lift up and release. So sweet. So imagine your hands on the paint brushes. I'm not really moving the spine, you're literally just letting the knees soften as the arms float. Wrists can bend. <sighs> nice and easy. Stretching out the surface layers of our body. Okay, one more. <sighs> okay, let's go into a small um, split step. So just stepping um, one foot forward, one foot back. And let's just go from here, keeping the hips nice and square, get your hands on your hips, just to square them up and then let go. And we're just going to let the back heel bounce. So just jiggle, let everything shake, release. Okay, and it's a little bit of balancing work going on as well here, but just let all those connective tissues of the body move. Okay, step the other way, step back. And all we're doing, all we're initiating is from the back heel bounces and the rest of the body reacts. Little bounces, little bounces. 
and the fun. Okay, keep bouncing. Okay, and then bringing everything back in. Okay, let's, having moved everything a little bit, let's go to a little bit of balance work. So, picking up your stick or a chair, back of a chair is fine, that's often what we use in our classes. So, feet parallel, and we're just going to go to that little right left brain as well here. So you're going to peel up the heel of the leg that's near your support, fold up that knee, fold up the opposite arm. Okay, Statue of Liberty moment. Tap the knee, step back. Tap and step. Here's three, here's four. Again, okay, we're opening up the hip here. Five and six, we'll do eight, seven. So sink the hips as you eight as you step back, change sides. So in the leg, peel up, float the arm. So feel that you again that other foot is your good friend here is going to support you. Tap the knee. Lengthen away, soften both knees. Tap, reach. Tap and reach. That's three, I'm not sure it is. Here's four. Here's five. Here's six. Here's seven. Here's eight. Okay. Nice. All right. Bring it back in. Again, a little bit of balance work. So, Peel up the, the heel, float the knee up. I think circling that knee, we're going to take the knee across, round, back, bring it forward. Goes across the body slightly, round and back. One more this way, across, out to the side, round and back. Then we're swapping it, send the knee back, bring it round, across, take it back, around, and back, around, in, tap down. We have one more to do. So, heel peels up, fold up that leg. I'm going to take it slightly over the midline to get going. You think of circling, so it's going out, behind, bring it forward. Out, behind, bring it forward. Out, behind. Bring it forward, now we're taking it the other way. Across, out, and round. Across, out, and round. Back, out, and bring it back down. Good, okay. Little bit of footwork. Heel raises. So standing tall. I'm just going to start with six heel raises. Think of going up, run and forward here, so crown of the head lifts, and we lower. Here's two, and down. So keep tummies drawing in, three, and down, and four, and down, and five, and down, and six, and down. You can always put something, I notice I was kind of wobbling here, you can always put a your squishy ball, or any ball, or a cushion between the knees to keep everything steady. Here we go with the next little sequence. This one, so we heel raise, knees bend, press away, lower down. Heels raise, knees bend, press away, lower down. Heels raise, knees bend. It's balance. And now you see my big toes don't really want to support me too much. Up. And down. Now, opposite way. We bend the knees. We raise the heels. Push the ground. Lower down. Knees bend. Heels raise. Press away. Lower down. Knees bend. Heels raise. Push the ground away. One more. Knees bend. Heels raise. Press away. Lower down. Good. Okay. And then just let's just do a nice, easy release work. Swings, my favourite. So just let the arm and leg 
on the non-supported side, just swing. Dust the carpet and we can let everything move here. I'm not worried about keeping everything too still here. Just releasing and on the other side. So lifting and swinging. Just letting go. Just before we come to the mat, let's just do a nice, easy side bend. So we're just going to keep the arms down and we're just literally going to take, starting with the ear, going towards the shoulder and just tipping up and up. And then lifting back through. Then you're off the other way. So let the head nod first to the shoulder and then up and up. Float back. So I'm trying to keep my hips from dipping as well here. So hips are staying nice and still. Okay, so I could even have a go at keeping that there. So I'm not pushing out on it, that's what I'm thinking about doing. Over, lift, over, and lift. One more each way. Over, it's small. Much ear skin is a little bit. From there, we're going to come to the mat. So thinking about not having to bend our spines too much to come down to the mat. I'm just getting in place there. I'm going to lunge down so I can soften one knee down, bring the other knee down, bring myself down onto the mat. Settling myself down. Okay. So, just take a moment to let the spine settle on the mat, let the body settle on the mat, feeling the heavies and the breath. Okay, back of the neck nice and long. You might have some head cushion. Eye line to the sky. Okay. And from there, we're just going to start with some. Arm work. So floating the arms up to the ceiling, palms facing, and let the shoulders feel heavy. Scissor arms. And three. So reaching the fingertips in opposite directions, but keep them nicely still through the ribcage. Nothing shifting there. Okay. And then returning back up to the top. Palms facing each other and shoulder drops here. So we're going to reach for the shoulders, let them drop. Inhale as the fingertips lift, release down. Lift, drop. Here's four, and down. Here's five, here's six. Okay, let's take the feet a little bit wider now to the edge of the mat. And we're going to let the same hip and shoulder lift. So you can let shoulder and hip lift and it's a little reach and then it drops. Lift the other side, drop it down. So you're pushing through the foot just to give the body a little bit of a, a bit of a jolt. Lifting and releasing. Lifting and dropping. Lifting and dropping. Lift and drop. Okay. So from there, we're going to do some, again, cross-body work. Palms facing forwards now. Shoulders are down. And you're going to let right arm, left knee track back. And then return. Same side. As if there's a piece of string between that knee and that wrist. Oh, I'm counting. And let's do two more. The rest of the body is still. Okay, and then we're changing. Effortless flow. So, good workout for the brain. Okay. Both of them tracking back. And one more. And then return to the start position. We're going to float at that left knee. Okay. So this time they're going away from each other. So you're going to send the leg long. Arm goes long. And then they come back in. Lengthen away. And then they come tap. Lengthen.
lengthen away and tap. So you've got that elastic feeling as you lengthen and then that recoil. Reach away. Recoil. One more. Reach away. Recoil. And take it down. Swap sides. So float. Leg up. So we're drawing down. Tap the knee. Lengthen out. Recoil. And return. Exhale to let them. And return. Reach. And return. Reach away. And return. And lower down. And pick up both knees. Squeeze the knees together. And then just do a circle the knees. So keep them together. And you'll find you've got a little bit of rolling again, which is always good. Little massage for the lower back and circle them the other way. So keep squeezing the legs together. Do a little egg roll. So the arms are doing much of the work here. And then lowering the legs down. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go back to the arms lifted. Shoulders are heavy though, they're down. So we are drawing in single knee fold. So here we're looking for stability. We're going to let that knee circle. One and two. So you're working on keeping the hips still. Here's three. Here's four. We'll do five each way. Five. Angle of the knee stays pretty much the same. Here we go the other way. One and two and three. Try and keep relaxed through the Shoulders, it's easy to just kind of develop tension, lower it down, fold up that second leg. Exhale as you fold. Here we go. Stirring. Such a good movement to get hip mobility going. Here's four. Here's five. And then reverse. One. Never as easy on my left side. It's a little bit more wonky. And around and back, tap down and now the arms. Okay, let's just draw with the right leg in and just bend and straighten that right leg. Let's let it kind of be easy, easy. Just bend and straighten. Like ease. Okay. And then draw that knee in a little bit and circle the, the ankle. Three, four, five. Let's change legs. So just draw that knee in and then just bend and straighten and bend, straighten. So without forcing, you know, just go to your range of movement without over forcing anything. Little circles. One and two, three, four, and five, and reverse. Two and three and four and five. Okay. So from there, a bit more abdominal strengthening here. We're going to come into a single knee fold. Keep the tummy flat as you pick up that second leg. Okay, so keeping the leg in that position, lower down and return. Exhale to lower, toe taps. So I'm not quite going all the way to the mat. You don't have to. But what I want you to feel is that you're really drawing into your Lower abdominals. Exhale to low. It's not fast. Nothing fancy. Exhale. And down. And two. And one. And bring them down. Knees down. Arms up. <clears throat> so again, challenging stability. We're going to let that same side now Arm and knee open, so open. And return. Same side. Two. So what you're wanting here is that there's no change on that still side. Keeping the hips square. Here's four. So I know if I take my knee any further up, my hips will begin to tip. So I'm just taking as far as I can. To the side. Do five. One. Exhale. And two. And three. And four. And five. 
And if it feels good on your lower back, open arms, open knees. If it doesn't feel good, just do a tiny opening. But feel your back drawing down to the mat here. One more. And back in. Okay. Let's come into a, um, a little bit more abdominal work. So this time, a single knee fold. Dig a bit deeper. Tummy's flat. Double knee fold. Single leg stretch. We're going to draw one knee towards the chest as you lengthen the other leg. And then we we'll change it. Tracking of the legs, just take a glance at your leg to make sure it's kind of going straight as you extend it. Okay, two, two, one, one. Bring the knees in and just give them a little circle. Okay, and then we're going to do the bicycle. So we're going to start with one leg lifted, one leg bent, and then you're just literally Circling the legs. Doesn't need to be super big, but it is good to challenge how low that leg can go before you need to bend it. Lower, bend, go. It's like slow motion bicycle. Okay, the legs reach a point where they're both quite long. And then we're changing it. Reverse bicycle. So I'm drawing to my centre to <clears throat> keep the lower back connected into the mat. Low bicycle, good. Long, slow, reverse bicycle. And then drop both knees in. Okay, let's do some um, hip rolls. So this is all about twisting through our waist here. Let's take the arms nice and wide. Glue the knees and ankles together. And as you inhale, let the knees tip one way. And then roll back. So inhaling to go up and out. I'm feeling that roll through the rib cage, through the waist, through the hips as you return each way. I'm not going big on this because I'm working on keeping my shoulders nice and quiet. Up and over, roll back, up and over, roll back through, over, roll back through. Good, okay. To finish with, just a small little bit of um, weight transfer through the feet. Here we're going to do a little bridge, tiny bridge. So literally, you're just going to bring the heels closer in and just lift the hips, not very high, literally a few inches off the mat. Arms are down, hips are square. And from here, 